Well, Johnny, a real roller coaster to start the season. <laughs> yeah, I think that probably sums it up well. Um, probably a great game of football for the neutral, I'm sure. Uh, and in the end, a great game of football for us and our, and our supporters. Um, but yeah, I think I'll have a heart attack if I've got to do that every week uh, over 90 minutes. Four different goal scorers for us. Just just talk us through the, the four there. I thought Omar got two, did he not? <laughs> I get caught up in the game and uh, um, Matty's penalty. You don't have to remind me, Chris, so much has gone on so in that 90 minutes that I've, I've lost count. Omar's almost. brought it down. He's hit it. We thought it was his goal initially, but it's actually hit James Ball. And ah, OK. That's why I thought Omar, yeah, Omar got two. All right, Ball, well done in the right place at the right time. Uh, Matty took his, his penalty really well. Omar gets the fourth and the third uh, has gone as well. Um, uh, it was so chaotic of a game that I've, I've lost it. So Reevesy, Reevesy with the curve. Reevesy, up. sorry, Skip. <laughs> sorry, Skip. Probably the probably pick of the bunch, come onto it beautifully. Uh, yeah, four great goals. That was There was loads to like, I think. And I'm sure you're going to ask me in a minute about the start, but I think once we got over that uh, and we did score that first goal, I thought we was I thought we was outstanding in our play. The way we attacked, um, we got we sorted out the press and the shape and... Uh, and I thought we attacked at will, really, and we scored some some really good goals. Probably could have had a couple more. Um, so it's, it's a it's a mad day, really. Um, to score four opening day is brilliant, but to concede the two the way that we did, obviously we're disappointed with that. But that gives us a lot uh, a lot to go away and, and think about. And listen, it's, it's, it's early, it's so early that nev things are never going to be perfect. But to win on opening day, and we're pleased with that. To go two behind inside ten minutes, is, did you get a message onto them quickly, or is it literally just sort out amongst yourselves, get back in the game? Well, it was so hectic that they had a they had a fast start. They was playing forward balls, forward runs. They was winning headers. They was putting us on the back foot. We gave away too many free kicks that that, that put pressure on the penalty box, and they got threats. Good lift, good lifts a, a massive threat. But obviously, we're disappointed with the way that um, he was free on the on the first one, and the second one. Um, we, we don't deal with it well enough either and they find themselves 2-0 up and just a hectic it wasn't through you know we wasn't getting pulled around in our shape or they wasn't playing through us it was forward balls uh, and penalty box entries and we have to stand up to that if we want to do anything we're going to have to get better than at that obviously but you have to say that the character that the boys shown 2-0 down on, on opening day after 10 minutes to come back the way that they did uh, they didn't panic I think I think the skipper was paramount to that. He started to get on the ball, uh, make us tick, and, and we started to play well. Probably scored at a really good time to get us back in it. Um, but I think we, we ended up deserving that. Um, not to single out individuals, but James Furlong, to come in later on in pre-season and the other new signings, how do you feel he got on today on that left-hand side? I thought he was really, really good. Uh, like you say, he's joined us late, uh, which can be difficult. Um, you know, he's only had one or, one or two sort of pre-season outings, um, maybe one actually at, at Barnet, uh, which was obviously bit part. But he's he's been improving all the time in training, um, getting to grips with the role that, that we want from from that position. Uh, I thought he was excellent today, the way that he attacked. But he's in a proper game. We know John Kamani Gordon and his threats going forward, and he had to defend well as well. And it was a good tussle down that side. But he, uh, you know, he used the ball well. He was a threat in the penalty box. He made the back post. Um, and was a nuisance and then when he had to defend he did uh, that takes a big effort you know having not necessarily got as many minutes as, as the others over pre-season so yeah I thought he'd done really well and Alistair Smith seemed to be everywhere today how important is he going to be for us this season? Well yeah that's why we brought him in um, to bring us that energy the, the legs the the press that, he, the, that he's capable of in midfield but also uh, his threats going forward like that the, the the chance when he when he hits the bar that's sort of that's the perfect Alistair Smith it didn't go in but that would be the perfect Alistair Smith goal you know uh, arriving in the box uh, edge of the box and uh, he got picked out beautifully I think by, by Josh so um, he's going to bring lots of the party in and out of possession and he, 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 I thought he was really good today Obviously, you go four two off, and you turn around looking behind you at the other two on the bench is there was there a greediness you wanted more goals Yeah I think we should we should could have had more in that period. I think after the fourth, um, I think the injury probably killed a little bit of the momentum of the game. But we scored that fourth when we was completely dominant, I felt. And we spoke about our half-time that if we start right, I think we could take the game away from them. Um, and perhaps if it had kept flowing, maybe we would have, we would have done that. Uh, as it was, we had to defend the two-goal lead. They have some moments where they're going to 
put it into your penalty box. And we defended it much better um, in those situations in that second half. So, you know, uh, we stood up to it in that second half. And they was always going to have a moment because the game at two goals is never out of sight. But uh, we, we, we saw it out well. An interesting week ahead. Two games against Bromley, two London derbies. How are you going to be approaching this one? Uh, to go to try and go there and win. Um, I just said to the lads, if you, the ones that were with us uh, last season, the carrot that we got from getting through that first round of the FA Cup was a, was a trip to Stamford Bridge. So um, we have to go to Bromley and, and and try and win the game. We want to go through uh, in the League Cup because we know what that, what that can do for us as a club, and you never know who you might get in the next round. So uh, and obviously there'd be opportunities for for lads perhaps who didn't didn't feature today um, to stake a claim as well so it's, it's a great game for us actually it's a London derby so we'll be up for it they'll be up for it um, allows us to, to, to rotate a few but we're going there to win Johnny well done today cheers Chris thanks mate nice one